dun dun <laughs> Look what I made! Look at that little face! This is Felix! It's a baby! <laughs> Hello my lovelies! Welcome to my February Plan With Me with bonus newborn spread! Yay! <laughs> Hi! How's everybody doing? I'm all like full of baby love so I'm feeling quite um so Felix is now four weeks old and um I shall tell you about his arrival because it was quite dramatic <laughs> and um I'll tell you a little bit about this spread you'll have seen I th hopefully well if you've been here with me for a while you'll have seen all of these spreads before apart from the newborn one because it's my first newborn since I started this channel. Um, so, yeah. Um, I don't really know where to start. So this spread I wanted to make really, really simple. Uh, I've got rid of a hell of a lot of stuff that I usually use because, like my productivity tracker, I'm really not fussed about how productive I'm going to be for the next couple of months because to be honest as long as I keep my three children fed dressed loved and alive that's a win because <laughs> um Felix is a bit of a booby gremlin and I've just sort of been in baby jail um for the last month because he he's a feeder <laughs> but the breastfeeding's going well so far obviously I had um you know some hiccups in the beginning because anybody who's breastfed uh, will know that the first you know the first month or so maybe longer <laughs> is a bit tricky um but we're getting there finally um yeah the whole you know first couple of weeks with the cracked and bleeding nipples nipples that that might be the first time i've said nipples on my channel <laughs> You know, that's not much fun. And I swear if I hear the word latch one more time, I'm going to go insane. Because <laughs> you've got to make sure baby's got a good latch. Um, we actually had to have Felix's uh, tongue tie cut because he had a tongue tie like the last two, um, which wasn't much fun because obviously with COVID, I couldn't have anybody there with me. And don't, it was pretty horrible having someone snip his little little tongue flappy bit it was horrible um but yeah he's uh straight back on the boob afterwards and he was fine and we've been having more success success since so for my cover page i did just simple february with a couple of hearts the decoration in this spread is minimal 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 just some hearts and um that's it and i've use my tombows to create a sort of gradient on the February bit just to try and you know tart it up just a little bit um but yeah for the most part this spread this whole spread is just functional it's just super functional so um yes yeah, so Felix decided to arrive on the 22nd of December which was great because I was hoping I would be home for Christmas because Tristan was panicking that I wouldn't be home for Christmas and that would have been horrible but um yeah I went into hospital and Lee couldn't stay with me for a little while because obviously with Covid he wasn't allowed in for for long um until I was in like full established labour um, but I was contracting quite a bit <laughs> by um, by the time he came in and the midwife was like, um, would would you like some gas and air? And I was like, yes, please, please. <laughs> so I had some gas and air and I actually had an epidural this time. With Tristan, I had an epidural and it really didn't go very well. I had a trainee do it and it just, uh, he kind of, messed it up a little bit to say the least and there was a kink in the tube and it wasn't working and my god when they put that needle in I felt it oh oh so when I had Ridley I was like I am not having an epidural no way no 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 not doing it um but with Felix I thought you know I'm sure 
lightning won't strike twice I'll be lucky this time hopefully and have someone that knows what they're doing and I did and it went okay but I tell you what it, it I kind of thought it would take you know most of the pain away but it didn't <laughs> um yeah I was sort of uh, the whole labor was about eight hours long um which is to, it's really short compared to the other two um but it took me like I think about four or five hours in they ch- look I managed to get foundation on my planner I don't know where it came from it was on my hand somewhere so I thought let's just cover it up <laughs> um yeah so where was I I'm a bit baby brains at the minute so you might have to bear with me <laughs> lack of sleep is really starting to kick in now um Mm. oh yeah about four or five hours in they were like should we check your cervix and I was thinking yeah all right check it now because I'll probably be a fair way along and they were like she's only like two or three centimeters dilated and I was like what you're kidding me <laughs> so I just thought right just crack on carry on um and then it took me like an hour to get to um I think it was a couple of hours to get from two or three centimetres to like 10 centimetres and the contractions were just relentless, absolutely relentless. I had about a three to five second gap in between each contraction just to, I couldn't even catch my breath and they were so strong. It was just, (sighs) but I got him out, (laughs) I got him out eventually. It did get to a point where I'd been pushing for about 45 minutes and we went from like one or two people in the room to like seven or eight people and um the you know the head doctor person came in and I had to have an episiotomy again so that's my third episiotomy which really then they're not fun (laughs) they're not fun they're a bit stingy um and it turned out when they were saying you know worried that baby's in distress and starting to panic a little bit um but yeah when he eventually came out the the cord was wrapped around his neck twice um which was why the monitor it kept going they put a monitor on his head while he was still inside and every time i pushed it would go quiet and that was making me panic a little bit i was thinking why 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 is his heart rate stopping when i push and i think it's because the cord was around his neck and each push was sort of tightening it which is ugh, not not a nice thing to think about at all um and when he eventually came out I was sort of like trying to rip the gown off so I could do like skin to skin with him straight away and they sort of took him over to the little table on the side and I was like where where's he going and they were like well he's just he's a little bit shocked because he's just you know he's just he'll be all right he'll be fine and he didn't cry at all and I just kept saying why isn't he crying why isn't he crying and I could see him on this this little table just staring up at the ceiling it was horrible and um they're like he's all right we're just giving him a bit of oxygen because he's sort of come out you know he's a bit bit shell-shocked and um yeah eventually they handed him to me and he was perfect and he weed all over me and I was like yay he's working (laughs) he's alive so yeah it was great as far as you know labor is um I quite kind of kind of enjoyed it actually compared to my my other two labors so yeah so here is my newborn spread it's kind of like my uh December spread where I did a time tracking thing now whether or not I'll use this um diligently is that the right word I'm not sure what the right word is but whether or not I'll use it all the time I don't know because it's like you know you've got a newborn it's kind of hard to keep on track of filling out spreads and stuff but I've got spaces to mark in when he's sleeping and when he's had a feed or how long he's feeding for and nappy changes um and whether he's crying or content he's such a content little baby he's oh he's just an absolute treasure ah I'm so in love with him (laughs) I really feel like I've bonded um 
with Felix straight away. It took me a little while to bond with Ridley. It wasn't quite the same. Um, obviously, I have now, but at the time, I felt like a terrible mum because with Tristan, it was like I loved him instantly. Um, and then with Ridley, it was like, oh, I feel a bit not not sure about this. This is a bit weird. And I think it was because... I was a bit worried about Tristan and how it would affect Tristan and that sort of thing. I I don't really know, but eventually I I bonded with my little riddles. Um, but with Felix again, it was just like as soon as he was out, I was like, ah, he's my baby. So yeah, it's it's been a good month so far. I've been so enjoying it, um, and he's such a good little man. He's a good bubba. So this was the day we brought him home and it was Tristan and Ridley's first time meeting Felix and I said to Ridley, <laughs> I said, do you know what Felix means? And he was like, no. And I said, it means happy and lucky. And he went, and ugly. <laughs> I was like, oh, brilliant. And uh, he was trying to feed him waffles. I was like, no, you can't feed him waffles, Ridley. And he kept calling him the baby Jesus because of <laughs> it was like a couple of days just before Christmas. And um, yeah, so it was just adorable. And Tristan is just absolutely amazing with him. Um, you know, if he hears him cry, he like comes running and picks him up and cuddles him. And they're just so lovely with him. And I just look at my lovely boys I just wanted to show them off just a little bit oh my little boys um I know I spoke a little bit about being a bit disappointed that you know I, I really wanted a girl but I love having my little tribe of boys they're just a, ah. yeah I'm on cloud nine can you tell <laughs> with all my little monkeys <sighs> so yes I'm just finishing up uh, this baby Felix spread. As you can see, I've got sleeping, feeding, winding, wet nappy, dirty nappy, natty, dirty nappy, punami. Anybody that's had a baby before, you know what I'm talking about. All up the back, coming up through the neck of the <laughs> neck of the onesie. Um, content, crying, and fussy. He's mostly, you know, pretty content. He doesn't like being put down on his back because he's quite windy and acidy, bless him. It must just feel awful. He's still clicking at the breast, which is annoying. It means he hasn't got a good a good latch. But I can't figure out what what I'm doing wrong because he's had his tongue tie cut and he's getting lots of milk. He's gaining weight, but he's just taking in a lot of air when he's feeding and um I just uh, I wish I could help him a little bit more because it's horrible seeing him with, you know, all uncomfortable. So if anybody has breastfed lots of babies and you know why my baby is still clicking on the boob despite having a good latch and having his tongue tie cut and why he's taking in a lot of wind, please enlighten me or give me some tips as to where I'm going wrong. <laughs> um, yes, yeah, so I've still got my relationship care spread in um, in this month set up because you know I want to make sure that I'm keeping on my really keeping on top of my relationship with Lee because I know it's so easy when you've got you know a newborn and well just if you've got lots of kids you kind of it's so easy to neglect your partner so I just want to make sure that you know Lee's not getting left behind bless him um he's doing really well as well he's you know him and Felix are just Oh, the way they look at each other is just so cute. <laughs> Are you guys getting fed up with me yet? <laughs> um, yeah, and then I can't remember what I think. Well, we'll find out in just a second. I'm trying to remember what the next spread is in here. I just can't can't remember. Uh, oh, yeah, it's my like whole monthly overview place because I'm probably not going to do weeklies or dailies or anything like that. So I've done a setup where I can see the whole month at a glance and I can add in any tasks or appointments or, um, you know, things to remember or note down in there. So, yeah, it's not a, a full on spread this month, like I've said, because... 
ain't nobody got time for that <laughs> not this month and probably for the next couple of months actually but we'll see we'll see how things go <sighs> oh yeah i also wanted to say thank you to all of you because I hit 20,000 subscribers last month. I was like, yeah, finally. It's been sort of, it slowed down quite a bit. And then all of a sudden I hit 20,000 and I was like, ah, oh, this is a great Christmas. <laughs> New baby, two lovely little boys, three lovely little boys now. 20,000 subscribers. And um, Tristan got a switch. So he said it was the best Christmas ever. <laughs> um yeah, so I just wanted to say thank you to everybody who subscribes and who supports my channel and just all the wonderful comments that you've left for me, especially while I've been pregnant and, you know, struggling at times or just, you're all great. I'm so lucky to have such wonder wonderful followers. You just, ah, I don't know if it's just because I'm all babied up and I'm all, you know, lovey-dovey, happy smushy but I just uh, thank you all so much for being there when I need you and you're just all great <laughs> uh, okay so this is the last spread um, before I go I wanted to speak a little bit about can anybody guess that's right it's Skillshare <laughs> Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of classes to help you learn new skills. This month I've been learning how to knit a baby tassel pixie hat. Um, I'm not sure if I'll have time to actually get round to making one, but my mother-in-law is amazing at knitting, so I might show her the class and see if she'd be kind enough to make one for Felix. And then if I push my luck, maybe a couple more for Tristan Ridley <laughs> so that they all match because that would be cute. Um, that class is by Hannah from Knit with Hannah. And I'll make sure I link that video down below. And there's also a class that I've not had a chance to get round to yet, but it's on my list of things to watch. It's by Tabitha Park, and it's all about newborn photography and how to catch those special candid moments in the early days with baby in a way that looks a, a bit more professional. So yeah, that one's on my uh, watch next list. Uh, a, yearly, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> a yearly subscription to Skillshare works out at less than $10 a month. And if you use the link found in the description of this video that Skillshare kindly provided me with, you can get a month's worth of Skillshare Premium for free. So give it a try because you've got nothing to lose. <laughs> Thank you for sponsoring this video, Skillshare. Okay. I've just been back and checked the video and I just want to say in the clip where I showed me and the boys a couple of things. Number one, I have not been looking like that for most of this month, just so you know. <laughs> I think in that clip I look fairly I look fairly nice if I do say so myself. But for the most part, I've had a mum bun and you know, been in pajamas and baggy tops for the most part. So just so you know, it's unrealistic to wear makeup and have your hair done every day with a newborn please don't think I'm trying to say that that's something that's you know you should be aiming for and and the other thing was um I'm well aware that Ridley is too old for a dummy bless him we're still working really hard on trying to get rid of them but he's just he's so attached bless him so we're still working on that um yeah look he's a baby <laughs> Felix says goodbye everybody so that's the end of this month's plan with me thank you very much um, for being with me today um, please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one bye